What's up everybody? Max Cavalera here, singer of Cavalera Conspiracy, and you're in the back of the tour bus of the Cavalera Conspiracy. So tell us a little bit about the, the new record and the approach that you were going for on this record. Yeah, it's a more underground uh, sounding record. You know, we, we try to make everything kind of sounded like it was done ourselves. You know, do it yourself kind of punk rock influence and as far as the uh, sound of the record we were influenced by a lot of grindcore and listened to a lot of heavy stuff my vocals are really low almost the lowest I've done my whole career and the album is very fast my brother plays fast on the whole record which is great you know so it is the most brutal of all the Cavalera records it's pandemonium it's a perfect title too. I mean, I know it comes from a song, but talk about that as the title, pandemonium, and what that represents. Yeah, the state of the world, you know. Right. It's all pandemonium right now. I mean, you know, just look at the news, and uh, it was. Uh, I, I thought, you know, I wrote the song Babylonian Pandemonium, and then we needed a name for the album. And I just thought, you know, I just use pandemonium. I think that's the perfect name. It's short, it's direct, but with a big. Uh, meaning behind it, you know? Right. And now why Babylonian? Why is it Babylonian pandemonium? Well, the song was kind of uh, inspired by... Uh, I have this um, big curiosity of history things, you know, I like right. a lot of history stuff, and Babylonian is one of the things that interest me the most, you know, the gates of Ishtar and... Um, you know, Akkadian and Sumeria and the whole Babylonian trip, man, it's really kind of crazy. And, and it's the cradle of civilization. Yeah, yeah so it's, you know, it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of cool to write the song about it. You know, I, I mentioned uh, King Nimrod in the song and the gates of Ishtar, you know. So, right. So it's kind of, even people may not know what those are, but they, they're in the song, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk a little bit about how you go about keeping in touch with the underground. And you, you've said that you never want to grow old. You don't want to be one of those guys that doesn't know what's going on in the right. underground. And talk about how important that is to you. It's pretty important, you know. Um, I think it's um, it's what kept me uh, at least on the um, writing front. Kept me modern and and. Um, active right. you know yeah and uh, I listen to a lot of stuff man you know like my iPod's full of new bands and, and yeah. uh, I get in touch with those bands and they right. send me t-shirts and we yeah, become yeah. friends you know and uh, it's great you know it's a, yeah. it's a trip a lot of them are big fans of, of my work you know from the years and you know they respect a lot of the Sepultura stuff and, right uh, so it's it's really fun you know it's really for me, it's, uh, it's just great that, because I love metal, you know, and I love listening to metal, discovering right, right, right. new bands, and and let them influence me too, which is great, because I think um, the same that I influence other bands, I can be influenced by bands as right. well, you know, so it's, um, it's, it's fine, you know. Yeah, yeah. One last question, you've, you've been playing music since you were a teenager. You've done a lot of different things over that time period. Is there one thing that holds everything together, like a thread that you can see running throughout all the music you made? Um, I think, you know, I love the energy of metal, you know, and uh, for me it's not really about technical stuff much. It's about more attitude and about the passion, you know, that's what keeps me going, I think, you know, like when I hear the crowd singing the songs, um, it's such a great feeling, you know, that you know that they understand and they now they're sharing that with you. And, you know, a lot of those songs started very small and just in, in my house. Uh, some of them started in the kitchen even, you know, where I write, the kitchen of the living room and see those songs become classics through the years. Right, right, right. I see. It's very cool. I think it's one of the coolest things.